Okay, so in this video, um, we're going to be looking at more polygon review, the angles of polygons, but also some of the stuff that you did in the very beginning, being able to classify whether or not it is a polygon or not a polygon. Is it a convex polygon or a concave? Um, and then talking about equal angular, equilateral, regular, or neither. Um, now, so this is something that you will have to do for the quiz. Uh, a lot of you got this extra practice who are here. Um, some of you who were taking the SOL did not pick this up, but it is posted on Blackboard for you to get. So, looking at this first polygon, it has one, two, three, four, five sides. So a five-sided figure is called a pentagon. And since this side kind of caves in, I can draw a diagonal that makes it concave. It's a concave pentagon. All the sides are marked congruent, so that makes it equilateral. Now here's another pentagon because it also has five sides. Now this one would be a convex polygon and because these markings are different from each other it is not equilateral. I don't know anything about the, about the angles so I have to say that it's neither equilateral nor equal angular. Number three has an opening so it's not even a polygon. It's not a polygon. And now I need to explain why. And as I said earlier, it's open. Right? So not a polygon. The last one here has three sides, so we call that a triangle. It's marked equilateral and equal angular, so therefore we will call it regular. And I forgot, it is of course convex. Triangles are the only polygon that cannot be convex or concave because it's always convex. But just looking at it, it's convex. You should be able to tell that by looking at it. Now we're looking at this shape, trying to figure out what the interior angles so I can find x. They should add up to 4 times 180 minus 360. Four angles multiplied by 180, because there would be four linear pairs, right? If I created linear pairs, there'd be four of them, four times 180. Subtract out the exterior angles, and I'm left with the interiors, which should all add up to 360. So when I go around here, 6x minus 2x plus 9x, that gives me 13x. When I do 15 plus 101, plus 123, minus 35, I get 204. I add that together to get 360, and that gives me, when I solve it, 156 for 13 x's, so 1x will equal 12. So again, understanding what it means to be able to find the sum of the interiors. This interior, this has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, and it's regular, so that means they're all 6x. So if I have six of them that are 6x, that means I have 36x. That's all of my interior angles. What should it add up to? Well, I have six linear pairs. Take away my exterior angles, and that will give me 720. So my interior angles add up to 36x, and that should equal 720. That means x is 20. Okay. <clears throat> Anytime I give you an angle and ask how many sides does it have, we're going to do... 360 divided by something. But you always want to do 360 divided by the exterior angle. 
but they gave me the interior angle. So I'll do 180 minus 135 to find out that my exterior angle is 45. So 360 divided by 45 means that there are eight sides. I have a 45 degree exterior angle. I have eight sides. It also asks here, what's the sum of the interior? Well, eight sides times 180 minus 360 gives me 1080 degrees. Number eight is the same question, except they gave me the exterior angle. So if they gave me the exterior angle, all I need to do is go 360 divided by eight. That means I have 45 sides. What is the measure of one interior angle? Well, that's 180 minus eight, which is 172 degrees. And what's the sum of the interiors? Well, I have 45 sides. So I multiply that times 180. Now take away the exterior angles. And so that would give me 7,000 740 degrees. That's the sum of the interiors. That's 45, 172s. So if you multiply 45 times 172, you'll get 7,740. All right, so again, these are the types of questions that you need to be able to do for the quiz next class. Um, go back, look at the chart. The practice has on the back of that. Look at the notes, make sure you understand it all, um, and then be ready to take the quiz when you come into class on Monday.